My kids had a thing, but one of my kids squeezed it too hard, but the thing did not pop out. One of the big controversies on homeschooling is that kids who are homeschooled can suffer from a lack of socialization, which my siblings and I used to always laugh at because we definitely did our fair share of socializing and then some. It was so much harder to regulate what was too much on the social calendar than not having enough to fill it. Um, that being said, as a mom and as a homeschool mom at that, um, my goal is to make sure that we make the most of our opportunities. The play dates, the field trips, you know, all of it. Basically, I do subscribe to the, well, I guess it, it was popular phrase, YOLO, you only live once, and not wanting to pass by on opportunities, especially not knowing when they'll come around again and just wanting to make the most of every day. That being said, I think the best way to capitalize on the opportunities out there is to schedule and plan. It is so much fun to fly by the seat of our pants, <laughs> but that being said, it's so much easier when we have a schedule and a framework um, to work from. So um, for us, planning means including wiggle room. We don't want to plan our schedule so tightly that we don't have space um, for fun things when they surface. So for instance, with our school, um, I have it planned out so that we can get all of the required curriculum done if we do school consistently four days a week, which leaves us a weekday always open. Now, when something hasn't come up that we want to add to our calendar, um, we will go ahead and do school five days a week. I have nothing against five days of school, but I know for sure that we have one wiggle day that we can play with um, for appointments, doctor's appointments. Um, we can we can have a play date with friends. Um, we can do some some more just uh, science projects, other you know hands-on fun activities that may not be as structured, or go to the science center or other um, field trips. So with those four solid days of school and one flex day, um, that leaves one extra day for those sorts of things. Then. Um, like I said, we frequently we do get five days of school in a week. And the fantastic thing about that is that extra school day is a bonus day. So if for some reason we do not manage to get four days of school in on a particular week, the weeks that we do get five days in are building us an additional cushion. So that's how we plan for extras. So that being said, um, I do believe it's all about balance. Um, when, when we're trying to, to decide on an extracurricular activity of any kind, um, I know that I can sacrifice one morning a week. So if, um, if one opportunity comes up and, and for, for a morning activity and then a second one arises, usually I will have to say no to that second one. So um, just making sure that I know that I can sacrifice one weekday per week um, any, you know, Monday through Friday, you name it, you can pick the weekday, but I can sacrifice one a week before I need to make some kind of changes. For evening activities, um, we have Awanas once a week on Wednesday nights, and then we like to try and keep Sunday evening open to recharge, just to be pre prepared for Monday coming around the corner. Um, Friday or Saturday, we like to have at least one of them be designated for family fun. So we won't have like company over for dinner both nights of that, uh, Friday and Saturday. Or we won't have, you know, somewhere to go both Friday and Saturday. One of them will be a down day at home as a family. Um, Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, one of those three should also be just a down day so we don't end up completely depleted. So that leaves us up to three nights a week, either Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, pick two of those, and then either Friday or Saturday. So I can have three weeknight activity or three night activities and one weekday activity. So that's pretty much the max, and then our calendar is considered completely full. But the goal is not really to run ourselves into the ground. We don't want to always have that completely packed out schedule. So if at all possible, I try and shoot for at least half of that. So um, two weekly activities that are scheduled and, and put on the calendar um, are, are tend to be my minimum. So if it sounds interesting and exciting and I haven't already said yes twice, then I for sure say yes to that activity. Um, if it's that third or fourth activity, then I give myself wiggle room just to say, you know, it sounds exciting, but I'm not really feeling it. So 
I tend to try to say yes to a minimum of two things a week if they if they're offered, um, whether it's a friend's house or a field trip or or what have you. That being said, we can go all the way up to that four. But I think again, the key for picking those activities is that we have to prioritize what sounds interesting, exciting, helpful to our family, um, what, what Bradley is interested in doing, what, and what, what he wants to do, what I'm interested in doing, what I want to do, what we think is best for the boys. We prioritize those things and don't allow outside pressures to guilt trip us into putting things on our calendar that maybe don't um, appeal to us or maybe don't um, just, they, they, they're, they're not the best option for us at that time. So um, once you fill your calendar with those things that you feel guilt tripped into doing, you don't leave as much space for those things that maybe you are excited to do, um, whether it's things that we do together as a family or whether it's other opportunities that come along. Um, so I, I think that the key to a well-rounded social calendar is boundaries. Um, and, and planning and then also priorities so making sure that you you know what's important to you and your spouse and your kids and make sure you get as many of those activities on the calendar as you can muster without running yourself into the ground so again for us that number is four maximum no more than four and then just in the interest of making sure that we stay fun and <laughs> Um, involved in the community and doing things that make us happy, we try and make sure that we keep at least two yeses um, per week. And again, that's if those opportunities present themselves. We are also perfectly happy on weeks where we don't have additional things on the calendar because between, you know, Awana's church and just activities that we enjoy doing at home, our calendar is, is pretty balanced when we don't have those additional add-ins. I think if I had a way to sum up my approach to scheduling and social uh, life, I would say it looks like no one's watching, but if they are, give them a show. Keep busy. Get out there and do those things that are fun for your family and you make memories together. Good um, job. Yay, Yay. Ted's good. So you schedule the things that you do to prioritize your family, boundaries you Thank set. Thank God I um, have Things these. that have worked for your schedule. I'd love to hear them. Yay. Yay. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll be back on soon.